Alright, so now, sagutan natin itong problem number 4.17 from the third edition of the Elementary Principles of Chemical Processes na sinulat ni Richard Felder. No? So, here is our problem. A paint mixture containing 25% of a pigment and a balanced water sells for $18 per kilogram. And a mixture containing 12% pigment sells for $10 per kilogram. If a paint retailer produces a blend containing 17% pigment, for how much in dollars per kilogram should it be sold to yield a 10% profit? Okay, so una natin gagawin is i-draw muna natin yung diagram. Okay, so we have the, here our diagram. And now, we are going to put our components, no? yung mga given data natin. Okay, so we have our first paint mixture containing 25% of pigment. no? So we have here our first stream. Okay, and this has 25% pigment. And the rest is water. So we have here 75% water. Okay? And ang price nito is $18 per kilogram. So, we have here $18 per kilogram. Okay? And then, yung next mixture natin is containing 12% pigment. No? So, we have here our second material. And this has 12% um, pigment. And the rest is water. So, we have 88% water. And the price of this is $10 per kilogram. So, we'll have here $10 per kilogram. And then it says it will produce a paint uh, with a blend containing 17% pigment. No? So, we have our outgoing stream m3 and this has 17 percent pigment no? so we have 17 percent pigment that means we have 83 percent water okay so what we need to find out is how much this should be cost Okay, to be sold and have 10% profit. So, ang required sa atin is to find out how much the mixture is to be sold per kilogram wherein we will get a 10% profit. Okay, so the best is to set our basis for 1 kilogram of M3. Para kung ano man yung makuha nating price or cost, uh, will represent already yung amount ng M3 per kilogram of our product. No? So, let us set our basis as 1 kilogram of M3. Okay? Okay, so now let us first do an overall material balance. No? So, we have our uh, overall material balance will be equal to what's coming in is equal to what's coming out. So, we have M1 plus M2 is equal to M3. And our M3 is equal to 1 kilogram. No? This is our basis. So, that means we have M1 plus M2 is equal to 1. So, we could have M1 is equal to 1 minus M2. And this will be our equation number 1. Bago tayo magpatuloy sa ating discussion, we would like to ask for your support by subscribing sa ating YouTube channel. Please click on the notification bell para lagi kayong updated sa mga videos na ipopost namin. Okay, so now let us try to do a component balance. And this time, I will do a balance of our pigments. Okay, so we'll have pigment balance. 
So our pigment in our M1 is 25%. So we have 25%, 0 0.25 of our M1. Plus in our M2, we have 12%. So we have 0 0.12 of M2. And this is equal to our M3. We have 1 kilogram and 17% of that is our pigment. So we have 0 0.17 times 1. Okay, so now we will try to solve the value of M2. We will substitute equation number 1 to our pigment balance. So, so we will have here 0 0.25 times M1 which is equal to 1 minus M2. So we have 1 minus M2 plus 0 0.12 M2 equal to 0 0.17. Okay? So now, distribute natin to. So we have 0 0.25 minus 0 0.25 M2 plus 0 0.12 M2 is equal to 0 0.17. Okay? So now, we can solve for M2, no? So, we will isolate our M2 so that we can get its value. So, we will have here negative 0 0.25 plus 0 0.12 is negative 0 0.13 M2 is equal to 0 0.17 minus 0 0.25 is minus 0 0.08. Therefore, our M2 is equal to negative 0 0.08 divided by negative 0 0.13 is equal to 0 0.615. And this is in kilogram. So, may value na tayo ng M2, no? Dito sa taas. We know now that our M2 is equal to 0 0.615 kilogram. So, we have here 0 0.615 kilogram. By the way, this is now equal to 1 kilogram. So, now we will solve for M1. So, our M1 is equal to 1 minus M2. So, our M1 is equal to 1 minus 0 0.615. So, our M1 is equal to 0 0.385 kilogram. Okay, so we will write that also. Up here, we have now a value for our M1. Our M1 is equal to 0 0.385 kilogram. Okay. So now, let us calculate how much is the price of our materials no, that we use. Because in here, you can see, we use 0 0.385 kilogram of M1. And we use 0 0.615 kilogram of M2, okay? So, so now let us try to solve how much is the price of M1 that we use and how much is the price of M2 that we use. So, price of M1. This is equal to the cost which is $18 per kilogram. Times the amount of M1 that we will use which is 0 0.385 kilograms. So this will be cancelled out. So our M1 will be equal to $6.93. Okay, so we have $6.93. And now let us try to calculate the price of M2 that we will use. So we will have price of M2 which is equal to the cost, $10 per kilogram, multiplied to the amount that we will use, 0 0.615 kilogram. This will be cancelled out. So our M2 price will be equal to $6.15. Okay, so how much is the cost uh, of the materials that we will use. Okay, so the total price
will be equal to the price of M1 plus the price of M2. So this is equal to $6.93 plus $6.15. So the total price is equal to $13.08. Okay? So we have $13.08. Now, let us now calculate for the selling price which we are looking for. No, We are looking for the selling price in which we will have 10% profit. So you to have that, we will have here selling price is equal to the total price which is 13 Point zero eight dollars multiplied to uh, one point one because we need to have ten percent profit. So we will multiply it to one point one. So the selling price will be equal to fourteen point thirty nine dollars. And since our basis is per one kilogram of M three, so this will be equal to $14.39 per kilogram. And this will be our final answer for this question. Well, that's it for now, guys, and thank you for watching. We are inviting you to register sa www.engineers.org. It is a community of Filipino engineers, engineering students, and STEM students. Thank you very much, and have a nice day.